Hello everyone, welcome to Volt China. In the previous video, we shared information about the launch of the new Yangwang U7, including some explanations of its technical features. Seeing the high enthusiasm everyone has for this car, in this video, I'll be adding more interesting content. I hope you'll enjoy it. Before diving into the main content, please take a moment to watch a short clip. Go! Do you like? What kind of car is this? U9. What else can it do? <laughs> yo, these cars in Chinese cars in China crazy, yo. That's right. I believe many of you have already seen this video. It captures the reaction of the American influencer Speed when he first saw the BYD Yangwang U9 during his visit to China. He was so impressed that he immediately wanted to buy the car on the spot. What's your take on this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, let's officially move on to today's topic. Imagine driving on a highway at 120 km per hour and suddenly experiencing a tire blowout. The fatality rate in such situations can exceed 90%. But if you're in this car, it can react in milliseconds, stabilize the vehicle, and safely bring it to a stop. Or imagine navigating a bumpy road where an ordinary car would jolt and shake. Yet, in this car, you feel as if you're floating on a cloud, barely noticing any vibrations. Today, this is no longer a dream. The Yangwang U7 represents not just a car, but the dawn of a new automotive era, the era of the fully digital chassis. Throughout the history of automotive development, engineers have pursued two core goals, safety and comfort. From passive safety systems to semi-active systems, and now to fully active control, this has been a decades-long technological evolution. We're all familiar with systems like ABS, ESP, and VDC, as well as advancements from passive suspension to air suspension. All these innovations aim to make driving safer and more comfortable. However, these semi-active systems have fundamental limitations. They cannot actively exert force externally, and their adjustment capabilities and speed are restricted. When facing extreme situations such as tire blowouts, icy roads, or uneven terrain, traditional systems often fall short. This is why we need fully active control systems. However, in the era of internal combustion engines, fully active control systems were merely theoretical ideals. Why? Because traditional fuel-powered vehicles have inherent limitations. They cannot house four engines to provide distributed power. They cannot build high-power motors on a 48-volt low-voltage platform. Mechanical response speeds are slow, measured in seconds. Power transmission paths are long, leading to inefficiencies. Simply put, the mechanical nature of fuel-powered vehicles makes true fully active control impossible. The era of new energy vehicles has changed everything. Electric technology provides the foundation for fully active control. High power, compact motors enable distributed power layouts. Minus 800 volts, high voltage platforms support high power motor control. Electric response times are measured in milliseconds or microseconds. 1,000 to 1 million times faster than the mechanical systems. Motor power can reach 960 kilowatts with 240 kilowatts per wheel. This is why the Yangwang U7 achieves unprecedented control capabilities. The revolutionary nature of the Yangwang U7 lies in two key innovations, E to the fourth power and Yunnian Z. E to the fourth power is a system composed of four drive motors, enabling fully active control along the X and Y axes, forward, reverse, and left-right directions. It acts like a lightning-fast doctor, detecting changes in wheel road adhesion in milliseconds and immediately adjusting the torque of each wheel to correct the vehicle's posture. This is the golden key to unlocking vehicle safety. When a tire blowout occurs, E to the power of 4 instantly senses it and adjusts the torque of the other three wheels to maintain stability. On icy or slippery roads, it precisely controls the power output of each wheel to ensure optimal traction. Union Z, on the other hand, 
is a system of four suspension motors that provide fully active control along the z-axis vertical direction traditional suspensions rely on springs to absorb vibrations dissipating energy as heat through shock absorbers union z completely redefines this concept it eliminates hydraulic mechanisms entirely using four powerful suspension motors to actively counteract vertical displacement imagine this when a wheel encounters a pothole the suspension motor immediately moves upward to counteract the dip when a wheel hits a bump the motor moves downward to keep the vehicle perfectly level all of this happens in the blink of an eye union z can make over 100 adjustments in the time it takes to blink the most revolutionary breakthrough of the yang wang u7 is its transition from the mechanical era to the pure electric era from analog signals to digital signals electric control operates in binary one for on and zero for off forming the natural foundation for algorithmic control the fully digital chassis composed of e to the fourth power and union z achieves true algorithm driven control what does this mean from centralized control to distributed control four independent motors control four wheels and four suspension motors control four suspensions from mechanical response to electronic response response times improve by 1000 to 1 million times from passive adaptation to active prediction the system anticipates and proactively responds to road conditions a true fully digital chassis must meet three key criteria one millisecond level response times two millimeter level control precision three massive power output only by meeting all three can a system be considered a fully digital chassis with true algorithmic control developing this fully digital chassis system was no easy feat while some of these concepts may have appeared in academic papers implementing them in engineering applications hardware production perception and decision making supply chain integration and software development posed unprecedented challenges the yang wang team had to start from scratch mastering this technology and building a complete industrial chain this is not just a technological innovation but an industrial revolution in the chinese market only a few brands offer four motor vehicles yang wang mercedes-benz zeker and dongfeng mengxi as for fully active suspensions only yang wang and mercedes-benz provide them However, the Yang Wang U7 is the only vehicle to feature both systems. More importantly, the Yang Wang U7 not only possesses these two systems, but also achieves their integrated control. This required a fundamental innovation in the underlying operating system. Traditional vehicle protocols were defined by Europe, but the Yang Wang U7 adopts a self developed architecture called Xuanji, enabling integrated chassis control. It's akin to human walking. We don't break it down into mechanical actions like lift leg, step forward, lower foot. Instead, we move in a naturally coordinated manner. The Xuanji architecture enables the U7 systems to work together as an organic whole. The Yangwang U7 EV is equipped with a high performance proprietary blade battery with a capacity of 135.5 kilowatt hours, offering a CLTC range of 720 kilometers. Performance stats are astounding. 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.9 seconds. Maximum power of 960 kW from four motors. Peak current of 1,700 amps. 77 consecutive launch starts without performance degradation, maintaining 0 to 100 km per hour times within 3 seconds. This is backed by robust thermal management. Optimized cooling plate design based on the battery's hot ends, cool middle heating characteristics. Parallel four motor structure reduces individual motor current, minimizing heat generation. Q equals I squared RT. The U7 EV also excels in charging capabilities. Maximum charging power of 500 kilowatts supports dual gun charging, charges from 30% to 80% in just 20 minutes. As a national standard charging protocol drafter, it ensures universal compatibility and fast charging at all stations. With great power comes great braking capability. The U7 features standard carbon ceramic brakes, 
achieving a braking distance of just 33 meters from 100 kilometers per hour. This is not just due to the carbon ceramic brakes, but also the utilization of electric braking. The E to the fourth power system's four motors, particularly the two on the front axle, provide strong electric braking power, working in harmony with the carbon ceramic brakes to achieve ultra short stopping distances. In addition to the pure electric version, Yang Wang has also introduced a PHEV plug-in hybrid version of the U7. Developing the PHEV version involved three major challenges. One, ensuring extreme smoothness, the engine as a source of vibration must not compromise the U7's smoothness. Two, controlling vertical dimensions. An overly tall engine would limit design flexibility and future adaptability. Three, providing strong power generation. The system's 960 kilowatt output requires robust power generation capabilities. To address these challenges, Yang Wang developed a brand new engine for the U7 PHEV, achieving a combined range of 1,000 kilometers. The Yang Wang U7 is not just a car, it represents a paradigm shift in the automotive industry, transitioning from mechanical control to fully digital control and from passive adaptation to active prediction. This is yet another milestone in Chinese innovation, achieved through fully independent technology a fully independent industrial chain, and a fully independent control system, culminating in this groundbreaking flagship product. But this is only the beginning. How will fully digital chassis technology reshape future car designs? What kind of driving experience will emerge when autonomous driving merges with fully digital chassis systems? And what will Yang Wang's next technological breakthrough be? If you're interested in the revolution of Chinese automotive technology, Subscribe to Volt China. We'll continue bringing you the latest insights into China's new energy vehicles and intelligent technologies. Don't forget to share in the comments which feature of the Yangwang U7 excites you the most. How do you think fully digital chassis technology will transform the automotive industry? Thank you for watching and see you next time.